Hey, I'm Jake, and today I'm talking about the 8-Minute Drawing Challenge. The 8-Minute Drawing Challenge is a name I've given to an exercise I found in this book, Cartooning, by Ivan Brunetti. Um, the philosophy and practice and Brunetti is a, is a cartoonist uh, based in Chicago he teaches at the University of Chicago uh, who has had his cartoons published in the New Yorker New York Times McSweeney's he's very accomplished very talented and uh, very thoughtful towards um, comics and, and what comics are and one of the big things in comics is figuring out what is your style how do you simplify something how do you make something iconic and what this exercise does is it teaches you to strip away anything that's not essential to the design so that you can get to the, the idea, the, the, the base idea of what that uh, object is that you're trying to draw. Okay, so the challenge is this. You're going to draw six drawings in eight minutes. The first drawing will take four minutes. The second drawing will take two minutes. The third drawing will take one minute. The fourth drawing, 30 seconds. The fifth drawing, 15 seconds and the final drawing, the sixth drawing, five seconds. And here's the kicker. Each one of these drawings is of the same thing. So whether it's a car, a tree, a self-portrait, a dog, um, the, the purpose of the, the exercise is to take this one subject matter and draw it these multiple times, increasingly smaller amounts of times, and see what happens to you as an artist as you start to strip away everything that's not essential to uh, to what that that subject matter is the reason I like this exercise is when you get to a certain level of art it's not about uh, how much information and, and and details you can put into it but you get to a point where you're trying to figure out what you can take a, take away and have it still be the thing that you're drawing you know how do you how far do you simplify it before it's too simple what happens when you when you do this challenge and it's been several years since I've done it. I'm excited to do it today just to see uh, how I might approach it now. But but what this challenge will do to you is it, it makes you realize uh, on one end you're drawing clearly a, a representational fully rendered drawing or as much as you can get done in four minutes. And on the other end the five second drawing is little more than a symbol. And somewhere in between those two extremes what happens is um, I think your style starts to shine through. All right, I'd like to get to the challenge now and try it myself. Instead of fumbling with the timer on my phone, I actually made a timer uh, for this challenge. And it's something that I've uploaded and you can use it yourself. Uh, there's a link to it below. Uh, and, and what this timer is, let me unhook the camera here. You can see here, um, I've got four minutes, two minutes, one minute, 30, 15, and five. And when you push play, they just start, um, they just start going on their own. There's a little beeping noise uh, when, it, when it starts. I'll show this to you right here. And that means it's time to go. And then as it switches from four minutes is up to starting the two minutes, um, there's another little beep too. And that indicates that it's time to start the next drawing. So use this for yourself and then um, post your drawing online with the hashtag 8 Minute Draw just so uh, it's easy to see everybody's uh, 8 Minute Drawing Challenges. And um, I'm going to try it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to draw a car six different times and because cars are more horizontal I'm gonna uh, set up my paper this way what you want to do is just divide your your paper into six different sections so you draw a line this way and then a line this way so that you have it divided into six sections um, and I'm gonna push start on my timer here and I've got four minutes to do the first drawing, so let's go. So I'm just going to start by roughing in the shape of this car. Uh, just blocking in 
basic simple shapes, cubes, cylinders for wheels, and uh, try to find a, a design for the kind of car I want to do. I, I want to do something a little more classic, maybe something early 60s, late 50s, and something with kind of a European flair to it. So you'll see these rounded um, wheel, wheel wells, I guess, that, that you might see in a Volkswagen or, um, or maybe even a, a Rolls Royce, something like that. Um, what's interesting too, I'm creeping up on uh, almost a, a minute into this, gonna have three minutes left on this drawing. Four minutes is actually pretty generous uh, a generous amount of time to, to draw something. Um, you can get a lot done in four minutes and and uh, you can see here I've got I've already got a pretty solid base of a car figured out. Um, really at this point I could I could start inking and uh, and putting in details and, and getting um, getting all the the, the nitty-gritty stuff figured out for the design on this. Um, this too is where, you know, I, I briefly talked about style and a, a lot of artists get hung up on how do you find your style? How do you, how do you, uh, uh, you know, where does, where does your style come from? And I've talked, I've talked a little bit about this in other videos, but you know, my, the way I think about it is your style is something that, that has to come from uh, inside of you it's it's a it's a mix between your influences, everything that you're consuming and you look at for inspiration, coupled with the the way that only you could do it. And what I think is cool about this um, this exercise is is uh, you know right now I'm drawing this car with with all this time, and so I'm having to lean. I can lean on my influences and and designs of other cars I've seen, but as as we get further on in this and, and time gets shorter per drawing, um, I have to I have to really lean on what my brain thinks a car looks like and not what my brain thinks other people have how other people have drawn a car. And and when your brain starts telling you this is how I have interpreted a car and and I'm talking about a car that's that's what I'm doing now, but it could be anything, it could be a character or uh, any sort of, of vehicle or or house or anything like that. When your brain starts telling you that, um, that's where your style, I think, starts to creep in. As you can see here, I got one minute left, and um, the car's taking taking really good shape. I'm going in. I'm adding shadows now because uh, I've got I've got time. I've got the luxury of, do, of doing that. I'm gonna go in here and start adding in details of the interior of the car, steering wheel, seats, and, and uh, the, the pillars from the other side of the car. Um, 30 seconds left and, and I'm feeling really good about, about this design. I'm going to add a shadow underneath here and, um, and then just kind of fill in any of the last little bit of details and move on, move on to the next one. bit of shadow up here all right okay move on to uh, moving on to the next one I've, I've got to pick things up a little bit because I have half the time now so I'm gonna spend a little bit less time on this this sketching stage and and move into inking a little bit sooner than I did the last time uh, because I just finished a car. I kind of know exactly what I what I want to do, so I don't have to figure out the details as as uh, you know as fleshed out in this level. Um, but going back to what I was saying about about style, I think the you know the the reason you want to figure out your style is is it's it's a it's a way that gives your work identity um, and it separates you from from other artists. So again, doing an exercise like this and, and, uh, and giving yourself the time to, to figure out this stuff, you can, you can, I think, settle on a style 
that really speaks to who you are as an artist and comes from something, you know, deep within you. Not to say that your style is going to just fully form out of doing something like this, but I think what this does is it starts to build a foundation. Uh, you know, foundation for your, for what your style may eventually become. Okay, 15 seconds left. And I feel pretty good about this design too. It's not quite as detailed as the last one, but it's a good looking car. All right, only one minute for this, so I gotta sketch this this shape in pretty quick. No time to really care about my, my line weight or uh, how nice my lines are here. It's just, it's just about getting the shape down on the page at this stage. It's, it's about now you realize how short a minute actually is. No time to to sketch this one, just go straight into inks, see what I can come up with. <laughs> All right, so you can see here, um, car number one, four minutes. It has a nice grill design. You could see like there's care taken in so much of these areas. The car is really designed and, and even overly thought out. Um, this one, a little bit slower, and you can see the overall shape is just getting really refined and more stylized this car here even more simplified so we've got you know compare the the headlights here to the headlights there and, and the grill and everything and just the overall shape much more much more streamlined here i didn't even draw a grill um, um, but you can see i still had a little bit time to to add in some of these other details and then finally here um, it almost looks like a, a toy car, and that is a turtle with wheels, pretty much. <laughs> what's, really, what's really interesting about this challenge is how it forces you to just break down an object into what are its, its symbols, what are the, the core pieces that make, make it up. You know, this one I didn't worry about the shadows or, or the, the architecture happening through the windows. It was just about this broad shape. Um, what's interesting about this one, this design, is how streamlined and refined um, the, the, the car design has become as opposed to this one. Uh, I stripped away anything really unnecessary, the, the wheel wells, the, the hood ornament, even details about how the construction of, of um, the headlights and, and how the grill works. And, and so how do I apply this in, in reality? Um, let's pull out another sheet of paper here, right here. And let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this design and see how how I might apply that to an actual drawing where I'm, I'm not under pressure. I'm not being being timed. 
Okay, so you can see this car here has a style to it that the original car doesn't because I'm looking at what I did when I only had a minute to design it. Um, and that's why it's, I think this assignment, or this exercise is really good because it trains you as an artist to, to simplify and to, to really um, figure out what it is that makes a thing a thing. All right, well, I finished drawing out this car. I just want to take a minute, close out this video, and say thank you for watching. I want to challenge you to take on the 8-minute drawing challenge. Um, go ahead and click on the link to the timer and, and get that going. Get out your paper, divide, a, divide it up into six different sections, and, and do the challenge for yourself. I think you will learn a lot from this. And don't do it just for one thing. Do it for multiple uh, subject matter. Try a self-portrait. Try um, a character design. Try a motorcycle or some other sort of vehicle and see where you fall in that spectrum between detailed and, and symbolic uh, where you can find that, that balance between um, an efficient drawing that still gets the message across and still looks beautiful. And that's really what this challenge is about and I think that will be the key for you developing your own style as you progress as an artist. Once you've finished your drawing, post it online somewhere and hashtag it eight minute draw so that everybody can check out the eight minute drawings that they're doing and, and kind of compare notes and see what everybody else is doing. I think that'd be really cool. All right, that's it for today. Take it easy and I'll see you next week.